my loves. Welcome back to my channel. I'm Jessica Alexandria of Bahati Life. Thank you so much for tuning in. I want to talk to you guys about this week, but for some reason I'm feeling like the message for this week, as I'm pulling the charts and as I have the cards laid out, it's not just this week. I almost feel like this message is going to be something that's a little timeless and that if you need to revisit it, that you should. But that being said, I've, I want to start by saying that at the time of me filming this, we're moving into October. We're moving into the season of transformation, change, death, rebirth, and resurrection. Meaning that there are aspects of your life that currently, or have been, or you're starting to see it and notice it, that have been in flux and changing around you. The first thing that I want to say to you is that all of these changes that or the change that you're on right now on your path it is not always something that's going to be explained to you it's not going to always be something that you're going to understand and it's not going to be clearly defined not all the time some of you you know what your soul calling is you know what your future has in store for you because the desires of your heart have been written there and you're you're fulfilling that you're manifesting that you're watching it come to fruition you're taking steps every day towards that future so you might have confidence within that because you know where it is that you're going and you can feel yourself being pulled towards that and you can also feel yourself being supported However, there are pinnacle moments along your journey when you get to this one destination, when you get to this one moment, that it's actually not going to make a whole lot of sense to you why you were there or why something happened or why something occurred. Now, you can believe whatever it is that you want to believe. You believe in God, believe in um, you know, the universe you know, being this all-loving, controlling, manipulative power whatever it is that you want to call it but there's this energy this presence sometimes that or maybe a, a, a direction that you feel within your heart that you're listening to that you're responding to and that you're respecting that is pulling you towards your future now again if you feel supported during this path then that's all well very good that's very well and good for you there are other people who are along their path and they're going to get to a point within their path where they are scratching their head, that they may feel unsupported, that they may question and wonder, how is it that I'm here right now? What do I do next? I don't even know what this is going to look like. I don't have the answers. And again, it, it feels like there's this space of silence there that is happening or sometimes noise, chaos that is so, so loud and so agitating to your spirit, to your body, that it is almost deafening. So it's back into that space of silence. So those moments where you understand why things are unfolding and those moments where you don't understand why things are unfolding, they're very, they're, they serve an equal importance here. The thing that I want to tell you this week is that so much of the energy around you now is designed to help you to overcome difficulties. I am really believing at this point in my journey, my spiritual journey that we have chosen this life for a reason. So many of you guys are earth angels that have come down from, you know, materialized as physical beings into this life. And you choose your parents, you choose your, <clears throat> the life that it is that you have stepped into because that is the journey that is going to teach you the most um, while you're here on earth. And then from those experiences, you're going to use that to share with others, to help them to evolve and to grow in their own way. But if it wasn't for your challenges, if it wasn't for you striving to learn, to grow, and to be transformed and changed, then you would never be a catalyst of change, change and transformation and a miracle for other people. The reality is, is that we are a vision. We are a mirror image of divine love. To me, God is, or the, the divine is divine love. And that is something that is um, reflected in every single one of us. And that being said, we all have we all have a need for each other. We all serve a purpose. None of us is better than the other. No matter what your life looks like externally or internally, none of us is better than the other. We all are here to guide, help guide each other home, help walk each other home, back into the arms of the divine, back into um, you know the next the next phase, the next stage within our journey. But I'm seeing for so many of you guys, you're right now you're being called to step past and step through this point in your life that is designed to help you to overcome these difficulties. If you sit within meditation, you can get confirmation and clarity or signs 
um, from your crown chakra, from your intuitive knowledge, from your third eye, whatever it is that you want to call it, you can receive signs of confirmation that this is something that is happening for you. But sometimes in the moment, when you are being stripped bare, when things are being pulled away from you, when you're being stripped of certain things that have that you've been accustomed to, certain mindsets, certain lifestyles, certain belief systems, those things are being pulled away from you. And you wonder, you're asking yourself, why, why, why? We talk about transformation all the time, and we talk about how painful it is, um, and we talk about how necessary it is, but sometimes we don't go in, in depth of how triggering it is for some people and how it can really test your faith, how it can really test your inner strength, your inner resilience, and shake your confidence. As spiritual beings, we look at other spiritual beings, as other spiritual people, and we say, well, look how much faith she has. Look how beautiful her life looks. So I can't relate to the fact that she is in the space of perfectionism because I am not there. The reality is, is that every single one of us is human and every single one of us is on our individual paths. And some of us don't talk about it. Some of us don't share as much as maybe we should because we feel private, we feel reclusive, we feel scared. Or it's just not our time to share and maybe that time is a part of our soul calling our path. But either way, we are on that path and we are, de we are destined to overcome those difficulties. Now, the universe, the divine, is so compassionate and loving, but we don't always see that in the moment when things start getting really challenging and the darkness starts being really dark or too dark. And we can question and we can scream. Some of us can panic. Others of us feel a sense of calmness. Whatever it is, whether you're being triggered, whether you're having panic, whether you're you know, don't know what's going to happen and you're lashing out emotionally, you have to call out for help, you need to get additional support, it's okay to ask for that additional support. There is a point in so many of you guys' different paths where you're not meant to go the next journey, the stage of the journey alone. It is very necessary, it is vital for you actually to ask for help, to get professional help, or to link arms with your soul tribe, or with your family, your friends, even someone that you thought that you would never, you know, you could never see yourself asking them for help or connecting with them in that way, but something about this stage in your journey now is calling you to connect with them. Well, that is a part of your, your purpose, that is a part of your destiny. Um, there's, the word that came through earlier today during my meditation is revolution. When there is a revolution, it is everything that we have known things to be is now uh, being utterly changed. I don't know why, but I, f I am seeing and feeling and hearing like it's you're being gripped, you're being held, um, and it feels like almost crushing sometimes. That is a part of the revolution. This revolution is a rebirth, a reawakening, um, a splitation. I've been making up words lately, but I'm gonna call it a splitation of you from a lie and you being split from a lie and walking into a truth. It's not so much that it's a lie, but maybe it's old belief systems, old um, lifestyle patterns, old relationships that have been comfort to you. If you were to continue along in the same manner, it would become a lie. It would not, it would not serve you to bring in this energy into this next cycle within your life and you're being stripped of this. This is the universe. I know it doesn't seem like it because I have to, even within my own spiritual journey, I have to remind myself this is um, grace. This is the universe, the, the divine being compassionate with me and loving with me. And the biggest act of grace because it's a, the, it's a, a, a moment of, look, we don't want you to get pulled down in this. We actually want to place you in a position that is better for you. So trust. And when you're going through this revolution, everything that you have known is being taken from you. Or maybe there's a certain aspect of your life that's being taken from you. But as this is happening, you have to step into a space of blinding truth. And as much as we can talk about, you know, I have a spiritual awakening and we want to have a spiritual awakening. We Again, we don't really talk about how painful that can be and how much confirmation and how much support we might need as we're going through that. So I feel like, um, oh, when it comes to a revolution, right? If you look back in history of human beings, we call in a revolution and we go through this war for a revolution because we are fighting for freedom. We're fighting for our rights. We're fighting for what we believe is right for ourselves. So many of us are actually afraid to be free. So many of us are actually afraid of our freedom, our freedom to choose, our freedom to have space, 
our freedom to love unconditionally, our freedom to receive, we don't even want to talk about that because how can we be afraid of our freedom? But it's it, when you, when the universe, when the cosmos, when the divine sees that in some area of your life you've actually been enslaved, in some area of your life you're actually a victim, in some area of your life you're being held back and you're being bonded, restrained, and they, in the universe, the God, it, out of an act of grace and compassion, tries to remove you from that slavery, remove you from that bondage, that, that relationship, that job, that lifestyle, that mindset, that unhealthy, toxic situation. When, the, when you're being removed from that, again, it's like a war. It's an, a war internally. It's a war emotionally. It's a war sometimes physically, um, spiritually because you are fighting for your own revolution and spirit, your angels, your guides are fighting for your revolution. They are fighting for your, your freedom of your mind. This revolution is always going to be a shock to your system. It's going to be a shock to other people, but it needs to happen for the sake of your own freedom. The more free you are, the more you will see, the more you will know, the more you will step into your truth, your being. This is who I am. This is my calling. This is my destiny. This is who is there for me. This is who is not there for me. I don't need to be in this space anymore. I don't need to be in this marriage anymore. I don't need to be in this relationship. I don't need to be eating this junk food. I don't need to be living a lie. That is a part of you stepping into a space of, okay, look, I'm not letting anything hinder my growth. And the universe, God, the divine, is so freaking compassionate and giving you so much grace to remove you out of this space. And throughout this process, my loves, I need to tell you now, that you have what it takes. I need you to focus on the moment. I need you to just be very patient with yourself, to keep your eyes locked on the future and realize that your name, your voice, your your destiny, your creativity, your profit, that's something that just came through, the, your profit. I don't know what that is, but I think that there's something to be gained. What is it you're going to profit from? What is that you're going to receive? All of those things are written in stone, written in the stars, written in the cosmos in the future. That's what you're walking towards. You may not see it because you're, 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 the way that you're feeling right now or the way things look within that area of your life is dark as my robe is. But it's in that darkness really that you have to surrender. It's in that darkness when the revolution is happening, resurrection is happening, you're being stripped away. The same things that you have been holding on to, that you've been like not, not ready to relinquish, not ready to let go of, are the same things that in a lot of ways could have been dragging you down, holding you back, that it could be leading to your own destruction. And that's not something that, again, the universe, the divine, your angels, your guides is going to have for you. They're trying to protect you. Like this sign here, this third eye, um, evil eye protection thing that I have over, that I, ha that I usually wear all over me, it's there for your protection. It's there for my protection. So if we're calling in all this protection, then we need to pay attention when we're being protected. We need to pay attention when we're being guided. <sighs> Anytime when you see anything growing, when you see anything emerging, you have to approach it with a gentle hand. This is for, I feel really called right now to say that this is not just for you, but this is for other people. I don't think that we need to come in and crush, crush other people or crush their heart or crush them with words of truth sometimes. Um, when we are called to speak the truth over them or when we're called to tell them what it is that they need to hear, I guess, and that can be a little cold and harsh for them to receive, you know, pray for them afterwards, give them blessing, give them light. Also follow up with, you know what, you know, you are strong and give them strength, give them the tools so that they can be strong. Also give yourself the tools that you need to be strong. Tell yourself every single day, affirmations, mantras, prayers, whatever it is that you need to do within the moment to remind yourself that everything that is happening, these difficulties that it is that you're surmounting, these obstacles that it is that you're going through are there to strip you away from things that do not serve you, that would have held you back, that would have dimmed your light, that would have taken away your life, your vitality, that would have taken away from the overall quality of your life, your experience, and in those moments, just take the faultiness and take the shakiness, take it for what it is, realize that you are becoming free, realize that even going towards freedom and following your North Star and following your, your inner compass, following that light, following the divine, following your guardian angels is not the easiest thing to do. Sometimes in those moments, we don't even have inner peace. 
It's a lot of inner turmoil because again, it's the revolution. We are scared shitless, but we have to keep going. And it's very important that I tell you guys that you need to have very so much patience with yourself and so much compassion with yourself. Give yourself the compassion and the chance that you feel like you may not be receiving, that you feel like you have not received what it is that you deserve. Give yourself what it is that you've been looking for because I'm also feeling like um, the divine, right? God, um, this, you know, or the universe, however it is that you want to call it, the creator has created you. And it's very important that if the creator has put the finger on you, meaning like that you've been created so divinely by this divine energy, this all loving energy, the, the universe, the cosmos aligned because they felt like your presence in this world was so important that they made just uniquely you to come into this world. I mean, there's a reason why you're here. And some of you guys are struggling to believe that right now. Well, believe it, believe it, at least take my words. But um, I feel like you need to remember that how you treat yourself every day in every single moment is, it has to be in the way that the, the divine or your angels and your guides would treat you and how they would want you to be treated. Give yourself that same nurturing, give yourself that same TLC, that same tender love and care. And more than that, give yourself patience, give yourself time because you are emerging. And I, that's my message that I'm gonna give to you guys this week. Um, I did say that I was gonna talk about astrology. Um, for some reason, I don't feel called to talk about the details of the astro the planets, what's going on in the planets. I will say that on the third, Pluto is going direct. Pluto is a planet of transformation. So it makes sense that at the time of me filming this, it's September 30th, we are under the shadow of Pluto switching up his position and a lot of internal turmoil can come crumbling out, can come falling out. And in that, just turn your, turn your light on, turn your light on and just connect with yourself, connect with giving yourself health. Realize that you are overcoming these difficulties. Just take it step by step and rest as needed. Give yourself patience, be great, have grace with yourself. Look up the word grace and what that means for you. Define it because that's what you need to give yourself. And if you have to tattoo it on your, tattoo it on yourself or write it on yourself or have it on the back of your wallpaper, um, on your phone or write it on a post-it note, grace. That's what it is that you're giving yourself. That's what you should be giving to yourself, okay? Also, one last thing is that all of these um, difficulties, all of these unsurmountable odds that are you're gonna surmount, <laughs> they are the ultimate teachers. Yes. You're learning so much. Yeah, it's crazy, right? It's always crazy. It's always crazy that, you know, the one, the areas of our lives that sometimes give us the most trouble are the ones that give us the most lessons, the most, and that's the area, again, if you really truly are an earth angel, which you are, and you're here to share your light and your gifts with other people, then you don't think, do you, like, do you honestly think that you came into this life having all of the answers to everything? No your life is going to present to you certain opportunities and certain obstacles that are going, their sole purpose is to teach you even more about yourself because this life is an ongoing journey and there are gonna be times when you're at the highest of the highs, you're gonna be at the top of the mountain just being like, we made it. And there's gonna be times where you're at the bottom of the mountain looking up like, how the fuck am I gonna do this? There's gonna be times when you're gonna be in the middle of the mountain and you gotta, keep, you gotta tell yourself, wait, I gotta take a break. I can't keep going because I'm beaten down. I don't know the way. I have to wait for the dark to come out so I can see that North Star again. Interesting that the North Star comes out in the middle of the darkness. So just wait for that because right now you are in the middle of a revolution, my love. And all of this is for spiritual alignment. It's for your soul calling. It's for, for love. I truly believe that the reason why we're here on earth is to, to move out of a space of love forgiving ourselves, forgiving other people, and just continuing to, to vibrate from that level, vibrate from that energy, okay? All right, so that's my message for you guys for this week. Uh, revisit it if you need to, because it's here. I'm not gonna take it down. I, I put these messages out there for, for your highest and greatest good. Oh, I forgot to tell you I pulled these cards for you guys. Um, stillness, I wanna read it to you. It says, in calm waters, everything becomes clear. Then we have 
recharge. There's nothing like a walk on the beach to soothe your soul. And then we have safety. Don't be too proud to go back to the shore. And then we have move. Barnacles only grow on a docked ship. So I'm wondering how those cards apply to you. I'm not going to give you um, any additional intuitive messages because I feel like you guys should probably sit with those and see what they mean for you. And let me know down in the comments how it resonates, how it makes you feel. Okay? I'll see you in my next video. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure that you subscribe because there's plenty more videos where this came from. Bye.